Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Anima. In this video, I wanna show you guys really quickly a few different settings you have available to you in your project page. So I'm just here on the Anima web app. I have my trainer's project open and I've already synced my design and it's all good to go. So what you can do is in this top corner, you have a few different settings that you could play around with. You have your play prototype. You can also head over to code mode, upload some files, or you can share the project. So if I click on share project, you have a few different options. The first is invite someone to the team, which we've gone over in the past, where you just share the email of the teammate that you wanna to add to the team, select their access level and invite them. That will then give them an email to either create an Anima account or to sign in to the new team that you've invited them to. Next, you can also invite someone just to the project as a guest. So this person will be able to view the prototype, also leave comments. And then finally, you have the prototype link. So you can enable this link and give you a shareable public link to your prototype. This is great if you wanna share the prototype link with external stakeholders. If you wanna share the prototype just as it would look as a live website, you can just copy and paste this link right here. So some of the settings from here is that you can enable some hotspots, meaning that if someone were to click through your prototype, they would have hints of where there are links. You can show a restart button, which will appear in the bottom right corner of the prototype. And then you can also choose to show the Anima interface and you can also password protect. And so if I exit out of there, what you can also do from here is your project settings. This will be kind of like the overall project settings where you can change the name, um, add a group icon, you can archive the project or delete it. You can see who is part of the team or as a guest prototype link which we just went over. This will also have SEO settings. So here you can embed like Google Analytics, for example. You can also add a custom favicon. And if your site is hosted with Anima and there's a form connected, you can download the CSV form from this link as well. So a couple other things, the versions. So when Anima syncs your project, that essentially creates a new version. Say that you accidentally synced a design and you want to roll back to the previous one, um, you will find those all right here under versions. And then finally, your files. So this will be a good place for you to upload project files. For example, if you're using embedded videos, also if you've uploaded any custom fonts, they'll be here as well. So that is the gist of your settings from the web app. 